Hi, everybody. How you doing? It's your buddy, Uncle Bruce here. Stock Markets with Bruce is the name of the channel. We try to explain what's happening to you in the markets in plain English, if that's humanly possible. Uh, and right now, in plain English, the Dow is up 28 points in the pre-market with an hour to go before we start trading. We're up 14 points on the S&P, and NASDAQ is up 89. So we have a, a positive start to the morning. The Dow has had five, six, seven, eight straight days of gains. Sooner or later, it'll run out of steam, but at the moment, it's higher. Uh, S&P NASDAQ have been uh, fluctuating a little bit lately, but all in all, it's been a good uh, five, six months for the markets as a whole. The markets are trading on the future. The markets are trading on what the economy could look like a year from now, roughly. And that's what it always usually does. Now, markets react immediately to catastrophic news, what have you, takeovers, uh, interest rate rises, uh, floods, volcanoes, sure. But all in all, markets try to predict what the future is going to look like and how uh, economies and companies in economies will perform. So at the moment, it's saying to all of us out there, um, if you happen to notice which stocks are running and which stocks are doing really well, you'll notice Anything to do with artificial intelligence has done well lately. Housing market, not so much lately. Uh, banks seem to be doing okay, but not every single one of them. And then manufacturing still to be determined. In the auto sector, anyone in the electric auto business seems to be uh, favored uh, to do relatively well if they're well managed and well capitalized. Uh, that seems to be kind of the big deal here. Um, Notice just a few minutes ago that American Express uh, came up with their numbers and they're coming up with their commentary about their business. Now, uh, I noticed that inside one of their uh, inside one of the articles talking about how American Express is doing, they announced a uh, an extension of an arrangement, a, a, a partnership arrangement marketing arrangement between themselves and Hilton Hotels. They've, they've added a 10-year uh, time frame to their uh, joint marketing efforts. So what it means is if you um, if you apply for an American Express card uh, nowadays, chances are you're being offered uh, all kinds of bonuses to sign up. It's called sign-up bonus. And uh, depending on which Amex card you go for, and there are many, many, many Amex cards, um, some of them will give you a whole bunch of, of, of uh, status points and, and points you can use for Hilton hotel stays. Uh, if you're a American, an American Express card holder and you stay at, an, at, an, at a Hilton property, you might be given bonus points for every night you stay at a Hilton hotel, which would give you the possibility of perks like maybe free high-speed internet or access to a lounge that they might have an executive lounge and all, all kinds of other perks um this is a 10-year agreement that's that's been ongoing for a long time it's now being ag added again for another 10 years um, what i find interesting about this is that um uh, i happen to have a hilton hotel card myself not an amex card but just a hilton um, honors card or whatever they call it and I could earn points if I stay at a Hilton property um, when I go online to the Hilton website and I look for a hotel say I'm going to stay in London or in in, uh, in, uh, in Berlin or wherever I want to go even in Manhattan I was looking at Hilton hotels and all the co-branded properties that Hilton has they have all these uh, sub brands I would look through Hilton's website for rates. Then I would look up at like Expedia.com for hotel rates. And I would find Hilton properties there with other properties. And I would do my comparisons and I would start zeroing in on certain properties that might interest me for uh, Jen, my Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife and I. And what I'm finding is and as a non-American Express card holder, um, but as a Hilton hotel loyalty cardholder and a uh, an, an Expedia guy, I get better deals through Expedia. It's uh, quite amazing how um, I can save $15, $20, $30 a night on the same room uh, for the same time frame 
uh, using Expedia. And Expedia considers me a gold member of their program because I use them so often. And I get uh, I get bonus points from them. I use my, my Visa card uh, from Canada, and it gives Jennifer and I points for using it. And so we get the Visa points, we get the Expedia points, and I give away, and I don't bother with Hilton points because the Hilton points are meaningless if you don't use them at other Hilton properties. It's uh, amazing. And the Amex thing, I look at the Amex card and go, oh, well, you know, this card is, uh, you know, $100 a year. This card is $600 a year in fees. And here are all the benefits you get. And here are all the sign-up bonuses you get. And in the first year, in theory, you can get, you know, if you use it right, you can spend right and use it right. You can get your entire $600 back whatever that amount is in the first year. Second, third, fourth year, you haven't got a chance unless you are really a big spender to, to equal the cost of that card. And that's what they're banking on. They're banking on you to keep using that card in your second, third, and fourth year. And that's where they're making uh, you know, so much a week off of you, whether you use the card or not. Welcome to the world of finance. It's okay. It's it's the way it is. Uh, it's called free enterprise, and we're allowed to choose how we participate in it. The other thing I found interesting about the American Express article was they were talking about how well and how strong the American consumer is uh, based on how their spending is going through their system. And I'm going, well, yeah, of course. Uh, makes sense, Amex. Um, if you're um, issuing Amex cards, American Express cards, to the upper middle class uh, and higher, uh, you're always going to have a strong clientele. Uh, the upper middle class is not uh, is not a group of people that barely make enough money to pay their bills every month. The upper middle class and higher are those who make three, four, five, ten times as much money as they need every month to get by on. And they have a lot of what we call discretionary income. These are also the class of people, the very high enders, who help to fund super PACs for key specific senators and congresspeople in Washington and also key and specific uh, key people in serious, various states in the United States to make sure that there will not be laws passed that are anti-business, anti-American, anti-upper middle class. We can't have that. We're going to we're going to ensure that the good times keep rolling, and so tax cuts are always on the table when it comes to <clears throat> super PACs and the re-election of people in Congress and Senate and so on. And so the upper middle class has the capital to keep the game going, to keep the 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 odds in their favor, uh, uh, to keep moving forward. Just noticing Tony Bennett has passed away just came off uh, the wire. Tony, Tony Bennett has passed away. Uh, God bless Tony. This, what a great performer. So there you have it. Um, if you're an upper middle class person, life is good. Um, and what I'm trying to do here is to get many of you as possible, as many of you as possible, into that area. <laughs> I want to get you into uh, a much higher area of, um, of um, class uh, demographic want to raise your demographic so that you can do with your lives a lot more than maybe what you thought you could do uh, those of you in your 20s and 30s you haven't been uh, crushed yet you haven't been snuffed out yet you haven't been given the reality check of reality checks uh, there comes a point in all of our adult lives where um, uh, there are people out there who you know start life with vim and vim and vinegar yeah, ready to roll uh, only to find that after uh, so many years or after a decade or two of hard work and service to sent certain outfits and organizations, you realize that you can't go any further and you will never, ever reach a certain level or higher of status or economic power. Um, sometimes it takes kids to kind of bring you down to earth. Sometimes it's a, the third failed relationship, the fifth failed relationship, the 18th failed. I don't know. Uh, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the uh, scenario where uh, uh, you thought you were in line and you were you were given the given the word for two years you were going to be the senior VP of blah 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 you're going to make it to the top only to find out that the owner's nephew got hired from the outside brought in 
and was put in that position and you answer to that person who doesn't know jack freaking squat that those are the crushing moments in people's lives out there or versions thereof where you realize i haven't got a prayer to, to to get to where i want it to go if i can help you any of those kind of folks any of you folks out there uh allow you to say to yourself screw this i'm going to take control of my economic future i'm going to take control of my assets i'm not going to let some invisible uh, uh two percent a year cost people take care of my money anymore i'm going to take care of my money and grow it myself uh, welcome to the party because now you're in the group where you have a shot at really adding to your cash flows some of you out there have have um you may not know this or you have figured this out that you really don't need a lot more money per month coming in the front door to make a huge difference in your lives uh, some of you have, have realized that uh, if you can bring in three to five thousand a month in cash from your investments uh, because you're an option writer this three to five thousand a month additional cash coming in has is is making things happen it is it is eliminating credit card debt faster than you could ever have thought it is allowing you to reorganize your your debt structure it's allowing you to reorganize your cash flow structure it's allowing you to to maybe kill off a car payment a lot sooner and not have that hanging over your head anymore it's allowing you to renegotiate uh, when you come to your mortgage you might renegotiate your mortgage scenario from a 25 30 year amortization down to a 15 year amortization where you now see that at age 51 or at 58 or 63 you own the house outright because you're going to reorganize payments on this thing it's a million versions of what happens and then those of you out there who have taken it to the next level and said, yeah, I'm Bruce, I like making three to 5,000 a month, but that's not why I'm here. I don't watch you. I don't take your classes. I don't, I don't have one-on-ones with you so I can make an extra 30, 40, 50,000 a year. No, sir. I am here because I want to make 30,000 a month from my investments. And I want to walk away from that piss ass job that I've had. I want to say goodbye to those other coworkers who are nothing but downers in my life. I want to break away from this 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 neighborhood I'm in uh, and I want out and at 30 a month plus inflation protected um, I'm going to be able to make the move I want to ultimately make and that might be spending your winters at point A and spending your summers in point B uh, location one location two um, and then there's travel in between um, that's why I'm here and I say welcome to the party kids because it can be achievable uh, a number of you have been shocked to find out that within a year of being here um, and learning how options work and, and understanding the flow of, 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 of option dollars and watching depreciation have its devastating effect on option premiums as you guys keep cashing in on depreciating options a number of you have been shocked to see that this 30,000 a month number is like easily attainable this doesn't actually take a lot at all and once you get there there is no top there is no glass ceiling in how much you can generate in revenues this is the other shocker that some of you you came into this when thinking well you know Bruce if you can help me grab a couple grand here and a couple grand there I can I can knock off some you know crap here I got a I got a third car in the garage that needs to be fixed up and I need five grand for that it would be nice to get that done uh, you might motivate me to sell up a bunch of crap in my garage and clean it up and maybe renovate the rec room or what but you're re you're now realizing no 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 this there's this is way more than that uh, this is much more lucrative than that and there is no glass ceiling to this thing there is absolutely no no way and for men or women it makes no difference whether you're a guy or a girl it makes no difference because an option sale in the options market doesn't come with a little tick box this is a guy selling this is a girl selling this is a guy buying this is a girl buying. no these are orders that just go into the option market and no one knows from nothing and they don't care who you believe in what you believe in what you had for dinner what you're gonna have for dinner who you like as a sports figure who you like as a politician what you think about your relatives and friends it is all irrelevant it is dollars and cents 
and it's making bucks and that's all it is and that's all it has to be and you can be very analytical about it and you can now zero in on scoring a return and the question is how bad do you want it and how far are you willing to take it and um, once you get into the writing of options and become comfortable with it you begin to realize this is not that difficult it just requires some discipline i need to become an assassin now i have to become a targeted player in the market i gotta stick to my knitting stay in my lane the upside is absolutely phenomenal and to those folks who are here many of which have uh, uh joined me two years ago uh, still watch the show from time to time, but are actually not here on a minute-to-minute -minute basis like they used to be. Why? They're too busy managing their portfolios now. They figured it out. They come around here for once in a while. They they look me up for a one-on-one -on -one once in a while, but they're really not watching me every single day. Uh, maybe they're listening to my rant every morning, and uh, away we go. I say congratulations to all of you, no matter what stage you're at with this channel and with this option writing program no matter where you're at if you're just starting you may feel it's overwhelming because you've got to understand so much stuff to be able to be an option writer you didn't realize you had to really stay pay attention to the freaking market as a whole you never paid attention to news out of china before you didn't give a crap what happened in the uk you didn't want to know what happened in Europe. You don't want to know what happens in Canada, uh, Mexico. Uh, what do I give a crap about that? Now you give a crap. You do give a crap, but you find out how quickly it's and how easily it is to follow this other news. It's It actually doesn't take that much. You now understand why it's important to watch what the Dow Jones does, what the S&P 500 index does, what the NASDAQ index does. All of a sudden, it's important to hear what Apple's doing, what's Microsoft doing, What's Google doing? What's Facebook doing? You have to know. You have to be on it. But if you take the time to follow it, you realize how much money you can make from it. And you're going, oh, this is why it pays. It pays to know. Knowledge is power. And uh, knowledge is also dollars. And uh, you got to follow it. You got you to be on top of what makes the market tick. What's making the market tick? react positively or negatively what's making the economy positive or negative and that might help you actually back at your day job where now you'll sit in your cubicle and go oh now i know why the boss is freaking out now i know why there are emergency meetings of senior managers this weekend to talk about distribution logistical problems in arkansas or in florida or their international division or why we are merging with this company or why we are dealing now with this company or why we are creating a new product called blah 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 you're figuring it out rather than i got all these papers i have to deal with uh, this week this is driving me nuts you're figuring out the big picture and for some of you, you're walking around your office with kind of a uh, maybe a self-confident little strut. Uh, you're you're looking around your your department, uh, whether it's literally or figuratively, but you're you're looking around the organization that you're in or the part of the organization you're in. You are figuring out the future of the department that you're part of, and you've begun to realize, you know what, my boss. And my my in all the managers on this floor, they're all going to be terminated within the next three to five years because this entire division is going to be blown off. We're going to be replaced by offshore workers. We're going to be replaced by AI intelligence software. We're all going to be uh, blown off and they're going to hire an outside firm to do what we do in-house. They're going to do it as a, they're going to arrange it as an outside contract. My boss doesn't realize that their days are numbered and you do and you know your days are numbered within the organization but you also know that your days are numbered in the organization because you are leaving the organization you have already plotted your escape you already know that within the next three to six months you're not going to be there anymore you're going to be at home looking after your assets you're going to be uh, either on the road you're going to be on vacation you're going to be in your winter home you are not going to be stuck in the town you're stuck in now because this is your liberator as so so is your your laptop and your ipad this is going to allow you the escape that you've always dreamed of 
because you're going to be managing your own assets from now on and you're not going to be beholden to a corporate policy a a new direction for the company or we are pleased to announce that we have amalgamated four of our departments <clears throat> into two departments and we now have a new uh, structure of management and you've just figured out once you look at the structure of the management you just got demoted four levels you are in grunt land and your future is limited and your days are numbered because they're going to review everyone's uh, contribution to the company and try to figure out what to do with everybody in other words layoffs they're going to get rid of 500 people you're one of them and uh, if you are not on top of that information you're the you're caught blindsided and you hear this story all the time. I had no idea that I was going to be laid off. I, I've been with the company 18 years. Uh, they told me in my last interview that I was doing a great job. Yeah, of course you were. You're doing a great job because you were accepting 60000 a year when you could have been getting 85000 a year for the same work somewhere else. And you should have left this company 10 years ago because you have stymied your upside by just falling for the company line. Welcome to 20. 23. <laughs> um, I don't want to be the guy that gives you a down message. What I want to be is the guy that will give you the facts and then help you figure out what am I going to do about it? Because the past you can't change, but the future is yours. And uh, the upside is all yours to be had. And you have to really want it. Sometimes some of you get motivated when you finally get kicked in the ass because uh, you didn't see the kick coming and all of a sudden you got the jolt from an area you never thought you'd get it from and now you actually move other times it happens out of left field and it I get this comment a lot from people who who talk to me here they say to me I can't remember how I actually found you but I found your channel a couple of years ago with that GameStop hype way back in 2021 and uh you know, I watched you for a while and I kind of went away and then I came back again and I started watching you again because a lot of these other channels I used to follow kind of, they're all gone. They're, they're, they're not around anymore and you're still here. And what you're talking about with this options market has really got me interested because it's self-empowerment you're talking about. You're talking about being in control of your life, completely in control and not having to answer to the man anymore oh is this a popular thing among some of you um yeah i know i know indeed it is look i was ranting on my uh, on the uh, trade alert show to the gold bagel members uh, if you if those of you don't know if you become one of these people here one of the gold bagel members of this channel you are invited every morning at approximately eight o'clock for the tr the pre-alert show the trade of the pre-trade alert show for gold bagel members only and on that show this morning i went on a tangent and I brought up a term that I haven't said in years. Uh, uh, I'm 67, or I'm old. So I'm see. I, I hate saying it, but it's true. I'm 67. But the good news is that Paul McCartney is 81 and going on 82. So as long as Paul sticks around, I'm okay. Ringo, keep going. You're 81, 82, 83. You just keep on going. You two guys keep going, and I will keep on going for Harrison Ford. You're 80. You keep going. I, I feel young. You just you're my motivators. But at 67, I remember what it was like in the late 60s and early 70s in high school. 69, 70, 71, 72. <coughs> Junior high, high school. And I remember in those days, um, there was a revolution going on. There was a huge revolution going on. Things were changing at light speed. In 1969, we had Woodstock. Now, during Woodstock, I was 14 years old. I couldn't would never have been in Woodstock. I would never ever found a way to have gone to Woodstock. Even though it was only probably 200 miles from my house, there was no way from Canada to get to that. I had no notions of going there because to me, the people who went to Woodstock were adults. They were 20 year olds. Uh, they were adults. I'm only 14, 15. I'm just a kid. Uh, but the school was changing because what I noticed in high school, when I entered high school, 1970, I guess it was, there were kids four years older graduating that year and i was 15 16 and there were 19 and 20 year olds graduating high school going to 
ultimately to college or to the workforce. These 18, 19, and 20-year-old high school graduates, these, the, this age of people, had a different mentality than, that I had at age 14 and 15 and 16. I, they, they were way ahead of me mentally and way ahead of me on an awareness level. And I had to catch up pretty quick or I was going to be uh, stuck in, you know, grade six land instead of grade 12 land. Um, and I was shocked when I entered high school, ultimately, at how the uh, grade 11s and 12s, the last two years in, in those days, the, in Ontario, we, we even had an optional year for 13. I was shocked at the mentality and the thinking of those people versus us in coming into grade nine. We were children, they were adults. It was shocking to me. And the other thing that was shocking to me was how their attitude changed towards authority. It was really shocking to me. I, I was blown away because uh, I had never seen defiance before. I had never seen in your face defiance against adult educators, teachers, and administrators. I was shocked at how in the hallway or between classes or during the lunch hour or after school that certain um, kids, uh, certain students would, would gather between them, three of them at a time, six, ten, and they would be arguing or debating school policy, um, administrative rules, uh, dress code, uh, stuff. I had never seen this before as a, as a student, because prior to that, you just did what the teacher said, because they were God. Um, these kids uh, didn't fear getting the strap, because no adult would dare to try to strap an 18-year-old young guy in high school, because they could beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Things changed, the, the, the change. Now it was, now it was uh, rules, and uh, suggestive rules, and uh, administrative policy and all this sort of stuff. I was amazed at seeing this at that age. It didn't take long for me to figure it out. I mean, weeks and I was I was aware, but it was really shocking. The thing that also brought me back was how uh, I remember in, in, in grade school, grade six, seven, eight, and then into high school, there were, there were various kinds of people uh, in school, but one of the class, one of the group of people in class and in, in the school as a whole, were people who were absolutely on the side of the administration. They, they were completely in favor of what the administration said we should do and how we should think. And to me, it became a massive uh, uh, eye-opener to see how some kids were following blindly these, uh, these administrators who were thinking uh, like they were thinking when they were teenagers in the 50s and 60s. Uh, they wanted to uh, run the school like the school had been run since the 1950s, straight-laced, uh, very organized and very, you know, uh, disciplined with no uh, expression and no freedom and no uh, awareness of what's happening out there. We were at the height of the Vietnam War. There were demonstrations on all college campuses. No one was preparing us in high school for what was coming up. They wouldn't even acknowledge that this was really much of an issue. It was all talked about in a young people were considered villains to certain classes of Canadians and American families. If you dared think that the Vietnam War was not a good idea, you were anti-American, anti-Canadian, anti-capitalist, you were pro-communist, and, and on and on it went. And many of us in high school kind of went, wait a minute, why can't we debate it? Why can't even we debate this topic? That was forbidden. And so there was a percentage of kids in the school that didn't want to waver from the line of the administrator. <clears throat> and they were snitches. They were the snitches. They were the eyes and ears of the administration. And whatever you said to someone else, if they overheard what you said to someone else, that would be reported to certain people in certain departments. And it would come back to bite you, perhaps because certain people in the uh, in, in the teacher ranks or guidance counselor ranks or the discipline ranks would hear about it and uh, would find out about it because they had their dependable uh, snitches to deal with. And the way it worked, it was simple. Um, kids would go to school, uh, they'd come home, and uh, mom and dad would 
you know, they have your dinner on the table and well, it happened at school today. And one kid would say to their family, oh, uh, yeah, so-and-so said this today about that. And uh, 20 families would be uh, aware of what was going on in school, which is normal. But what would happen next would be the next day, uh, phone calls would be coming into the admin department of high schools. And certain VPs and people in the admin would get calls from certain parents with the latest information from their kids who didn't know that they were being, the, the news was being passed on from them to the administration. So these snitches, in some cases, didn't know they were snitches. In other cases, they did know they were snitches. They did know that they could get Tommy in trouble because Tommy said something about the Vietnam War, and uh, that is contrary to the overall thinking of the conservative neighborhood in which we're in, whatever. We used to call these kids goody goodies. The term was goody goodies. Um, I remember in grade five, six, seven, there were kids who, who dressed exactly how the school wanted you to dress and they behaved just the way. And they told on students that didn't behave the way the school wanted them to behave. We called them goody goodies and they were the brown nosers. And what's sad today in 2023, after 50 years, uh, from 73 to 2023, after 50 years, so many of these goody goodies uh, for their entire adult lives never changed. And uh, they were the same all the way. They've raised their kids and grandkids in the same style. And uh, lack of freedom and lack of imagination and lack of openness to accept ideas, receive ideas, to process ideas. And these folks, uh, the many of these kinds of people have permeated into everything. And here we are in 2023 where there's a war going on between the classes and or between the, the uh, mentalities out there. And uh, uh, it's uh, pathetic to see story after story appear in media about how radic radical parents are trying to take over school boards or Burns are books are being burned. Or books are being banned in certain um, libraries. Um, how uh, uh, more and more uh, uh, laws are being passed or ordinances or what have you in towns and cities uh, to make it more um, difficult or more illegal or more incorrect to be doing certain things. Um, state capitals now have gone completely off the rocker in some states in the united states canada's having its own issues as well other countries as well it's shocking to me it's wild and wacky to me because i remember in, in in graduating high school when i was in my last year or two we were now the adults in the school we were now the guys running the school um and we had on we began to understand what was going on three years earlier when we joined high school we now understood the, the fight that the uh, uh, the last of the high school grads had in their, in their time because they came out of high school at the end of the 60s. They entered high school in 64 and they graduated in 69, 68, 69. Some entered in, in 66 and, and left in 70, 71. They had fought the Vietnam War in high school. They had to fight the administration because so many of the administrators were in 1965 if you were a teacher in a high school and you were 50 years of age and you were just going through the motions for the next five ten years to hit your retirement time um you were 50 years of age in, in 1965 uh you were 30 years of age in 1945 um what kind of thinking do you think they had what kind of upbringing do you think they had they were the second world war uh, uh graduates they graduated school they graduated college in 45 to 50 and when they became teachers in the high schools they were of the generation once removed and so the radical young kids saying i don't think it's a good idea to be drafted and be sent to a jungle in vietnam to fight people i don't have any problem with uh, this became anti-American, anti-capitalist, um, uh, anti-democratic. You were you were de deemed a radical, and the kids, the eighteen-year-olds, are going. You you think I should go to to boot camp and then go over there and and fight with an M16 rifle uh, and take the same hill 
five times in a row until I finally get killed, and I'm and that's defending democracy. Are you are you out of your freaking mind? What Kool Aid are you guys drinking? This was the fight in the mid '60s to the '70s, and when I became a high schooler and graduated in '73, '74. The Vietnam War was almost over because the, the carnage had already been made. All the carnage had been paid. Uh, America had paid a terrible price, had already withdrawn, and we were now just waiting for the fall of Saigon, which came in 74, 75, uh, through my college years. Um, I was lucky. I missed the worst of it as far as the violence was concerned and all the radical street demonstrations and whatever. But uh, the people who... Uh, Part of the people who were part of this whole generation uh, never, never came around to the idea that that was a pretty bad idea. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Um, and um, to this very day, um, you know, both sides are still out there. Uh, you've got 70-something-year-old former radical college students, high school students, who are still thinking their way and you've got the other side who never joined that part of the uh, movement thinking their way and uh, in politics it hasn't ended uh it just hasn't stopped and it is still ongoing it's so frustrating um 2023 um it blows my mind what also blows my mind is how other countries have gone backwards really backwards and um, and and in a scary kind of way apparently the courts in Hong Kong, the so-called kangaroo court that, you know, the Chinese now operate in Hong Kong, have made it a national security issue uh, if you sing a certain song in Hong Kong. If you sing a certain song with certain lyrics, you are deemed to be a threat to national security. It has gone that Far to the other side of the scale. It is absolutely draconian. Um, and this is 2023, and it is just as mind numbing to me how scary it has become. I remember in 2015, I was in Berlin for a couple of weeks uh, staying at my daughter's uh, apartment, I had it all to myself, and I took a day to go and see something I had wanted to visit uh, before, and it was the former headquarters campus of the secret police of East Germany called the Stasi. And this was the most terrifying group. This was the scariest group of people you could ever have been you run into if you ever had to run into these people. I'm amazed at how brave so many East German people were to stand up to these guys as best they could. The Stasi was the dirty secret that the East German government had to keep their people in line. And to this very day, right now, there are Stasi-type organizations in all countries, <laughs> even Western democracies, but certainly in, in China, the Hong Kong area, um, Iraq, uh, they have their own version, um, um, Iran, um, and it goes on and on and on. It just, it, 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 they're everywhere. But in this particular campus, I was able to see a moment frozen in time, 1989, the last month of the existence of the Stasi as it was. Everything had been preserved by the West Germans. As soon as that wall came down, the West Germans went in there and within days took over the entire Stasi complex. And all of the shredding was stopped and all of the reconstruction of all the shredded documents has been going on since still going on and files have been made available to all germans who have been who were spied on by the east german government west germans were spied on east germans were spied on and it it came out that by the time 1989 happened and the wall finally crumbled <clears throat> that one in every seven East Germans was a Stasi informant. <clears throat> Whether they were employed directly by the Stasi, which was the largest employer of the country, by the way, uh, or <clears throat> they were coerced into giving up secrets and giving up information. For example, 
you live in an apartment building and on your floor are five apartments, six apartments on your floor. <clears throat> one person on that floor, one of the apartments, likely would have been inhabited by a Stasi informant. Could have been a widow who uh, just uh, listened to the doors opening and closing in the hallway, would look through the little peephole and would notice that you were leaving at seven o'clock at night from your apartment. This individual just write down your name and write down what time you left and whether you were alone or with someone else. And if you came back at 9.30 at night with one or two or three people, they would write that down. What time and how many. If they knew who these people were, they would write the names down. If they didn't know, it would be unknown. And then when any of those people left the apartment, they would write down what time people left. So that way they knew if anyone stayed over. This is being done on every floor in every apartment building all over East Germany for decades. Every house was being spied on by neighbors uh, at work. People were being spied on at work. Um, there would be people who would be reported to the Stasi. Um, So-and-so on the coffee break uh, was talking to another person about the latest um, political news out of the United Kingdom. Uh, they were talking about the UK politics. Whatever it was, it was, there was no privacy. There was no, it was completely uh, reported on and it was sent to the Stasi people. Uh, I don't know, 90, 100,000 employees. It was massive, a massive machine that kept detailed files on every single citizen in the East. And if you were hanging out with certain people that the Stasi uh, were worried about or were suspected were uh, collaborating with the West, or if you were talking about political things or things that had nothing to do with the East German greatness, you would be hauled in for questioning by the Stasi. And they would ask you, uh, why are you talking about this? And why are you talking about it? And you wouldn't understand how they found this information out. The other thing you didn't realize is that most people in the East Germany, many, many activists were wired and bugged illegally by the Stasi. It was so deep in. And this is 1989. The technology of the day was tape recorders, VCRs, maybe uh, no DVD players yet, no computers, no cell phones. But the entire population was monitored. All 14 million of East, 14 million people of East German were, or Germany were all monitored for all their activities from childhood on until they died. And this entire system has been preserved for viewing by any of you, anytime you want to go to what was East Berlin and the Stasi headquarters. They, they have tours available. It's incredible. To this very day, at this very moment, anywhere in Hong Kong, anything you say to anybody is recorded. Anyone you Anywhere you go in China, you are spied on. Any, anywhere you're going to do this in, in other countries, it could be just as bad. Russia, can you imagine how unsafe you would be in Russia right now, you'd be tailed by secret police all over the place. Scary stuff. This world in 2023 is a mind blower in my mind. It's just, it just blows my mind. And how sophisticated things can be now with drone surveillance, camera surveillance all over our cities. Uh, and now our own, we ourselves give away our own uh, secrecy because we have been brainwashed into using debit cards and credit cards for everything we buy rather than cash. Um, it has been now gone, it's now to the point where we've been convinced that if we see someone using cash, that that's someone using illegal gotten gains. If you're using a credit card, uh, you're legit. Uh, but the credit card transactions can be tracked and traced by any any organization, domestic or foreign. I mean, hack hacking into hacking into bank records, hacking into credit card uh, records. How many hacks have we heard about in the last twenty five years? Uh, uh, you know, endless. I mean, absolutely endless. You you check into a hotel, um, their system uh, could be hacked. You check in with an airline, their system can be hacked. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, if you use cash, it's the last form of anonymity that's left to you, and you're looked at suspiciously and you're looked upon as an inconvenient customer when you use cash at a clothing store or at a coffee shop or whatever i mean using cash obviously you're very poor you just don't have the credit to get a credit card so you're obviously undesirable 
Um, or uh, you pull out a $50 bill at a Starbucks. Whoa, <laughs> we got to get the manager here. Oh, we got to run a check on this. This is a, this could be forged money. You're a forger. You're a criminal. You're a drug dealer, obviously. That's how far it's gone within our world. Um, can you imagine what it is like overseas in other countries? As scary as all get up. What can I tell you, kids? Um, just my rant of the day. Um, try to make money in this market, please. Uh, 970 is where SoFi is. We could break 10 today. Would be nice to see it. I wouldn't be surprised if SoFi is already making money by the by. Um, I think it's possible that next week, Monday, when SoFi comes out with their financials, that they will reveal that uh, last quarter that they're reporting on now, they're already making money. They started making money in the second month of the quarter. Uh, and for the quarter, they made a half a penny or a penny a share profit. And that they're going to talk about the next quarter, the next quarter, the next quarter. And they're going to say, yep, our profits are going to continue to grow. And we're now in a profit mode. Um, that That's, I think, where SoFi could be at, which could cause a mini avalanche of buying into SoFi stock from those out there who are clueless and are just not paying attention to what's been happening here like we have been. And we could have ourselves a $12 to $15 market on SoFi in no time. And many of you are now going to become option writers and you're going to start bringing in capital that you've never brought in before because many of you out there have been very diligently picking up SoFi on these massive dips. You bought the stock at six, five, four, and five, six, seven, eight on the way up again and again and again. And some of you out there have 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 80, 100,000 shares. And you guys are going to be writing 20. 50, 100, 200, 300 contracts on your SoFi that you never thought you'd ever, you never contemplated that this could ever, ever happen. If you've got 1,000 shares, you're going to write 10 contracts. you got 5,000 shares, you're going to write 50 contracts. you got 10,000 shares, you can write 100 contracts. You write 100 contracts with a 250 premium per contract, $250 a contract times 100 times, do the math, 25 grand in your pocket in one shot. There are going to be dollars coming into some of your accounts that you've never seen before. You've never witnessed it before. It's never happened to you before. And you're going to be a bit stunned by it. You're going to be a bit befuddled by it. You're going to be a bit confused by it, excited, hopefully I can keep you calm long enough to just relax, not overthink it and not overreact about it, to get ready to join a new level of dem uh, a new de a demographic <laughs> reality. Um, and uh, if, if this helps a number of you to the point where you now understand, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's, re it's real, he's not kidding. This guy, Uncle Bruce, has taken me to the promised land. I am now sitting on the ability to write 200 contracts and bring in $50,000 in capital. And I actually can easily take $5,000 a month out of my account and pay all my bills, all of my living expenses, uh, and my taxes. And I can say goodbye to my day job. He has brought me to this level just because of these shares and this company. This stock is going to go to $50 a share. It's going to $100 a share. It's going to $200 a share. If you stick around long enough, you become a Warren Buffett kind of person. You are going to enjoy phenomenal upside on this company. You've got to allow it to keep growing. And it is every day, every week, every month growing no matter what the banking crisis was three months ago didn't matter so if i got better what's going to happen with interest rates next week next month won't matter uh what's going to happen with inflation in the next year uh, who gets elected into the white house the senate it won't matter SoFi is going to continue to grow and become more profitable as a larger fintech machine and if you stick around long enough it will be the instrument that you're going to use to bring in the cash flow on a monthly, quarterly, yearly basis 
to take you to the upper middle class section of the demographic of the world. And you've got to allow it to do it for you. Do not be impatient and think, oh, as soon as it goes to 12, I'm going to sell because I'm going to be up four bucks a share. I just want to cash in because I'm afraid it might go back down again. You think like that, you are guaranteed to be a middle class person for the rest of your life. You're, you're guaranteed to never make it, never make it out of the spot you're in. Allow this stock to take you to a higher level and the cash flow you forward. I, I am convinced you can do extremely well. Welcome to the party, everybody. We've got nine years to go, nine minutes to go until we open. Nine years. Nine minutes to go until we open. Um, I know that some of you are tired of hearing the same thing from me all the time. I keep saying the same thing. But I got to tell you guys, uh, I don't know how else to uh, bring you the truth. Uh, if, you, uh, if, you ever, uh, uh, if you were ever part of a sports team in high school and you had a really good coach you were part of a sports team in college and you had a really good motivating manager coach they were telling you the same thing in their own way for the sport you were in uh the sport you're in today is the uh, stock market the equity market the options market and if i talk to you in a totally different way next week and never mention what I've been mentioning to you for the last two years, then I'm just full of hot air. Uh, there's only it's one way to get ahead in this world, guaranteed, make more money. That's the one way for sure to get ahead. Financially, in this world, make more money. Um, believe it or not, if you can make so much money that you have tax problems, you're a winner. If you have tax problems going forward because of all the money you've been making through this channel, you are a winner, not a loser, a winner. And if you find that two years from now, you're giving your government $100,000 a year of income tax because you made a million dollars, you're a winner. You're, you're allowed to complain about it. That, that's the great thing about it. But you're actually a winner if you have these issues. You're also the kind of person now that can afford to hire people to minimize your tax hit because there are folks out there for hire that specialize in making sure to get you to keep as much of your money as possible and pay as little as possible to the feds but feds get their share eventually and that's just the way it is welcome to the party everybody um welcome to this lifestyle i welcome you to the show we're up 100 points i think we're up 100 points on the dow i i, I i'm guessing it looks like it's up 100 the S&P 500 is up 22, it looks like to me. Um, that's a good sign. We've had a bit of a surge here in the last little while. Um, we've got, uh, let me take a look here, if I can get this big S iPad to work. 112 point gain on NASDAQ, three quarters of a point. So it looks like in six minutes, we're going to have a good start to the session. So we'll take that. We'll see. Thank you. May I have another? Uh, let's go from here and try to get richer. Um, I'm seeing SoFi in the pre-market at 9.68, up 8, 8, 11 cents. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some other pre-market quotes here. Refresh my page. Rocket Lab is up seven cents. SoFi is up 11. GameStop is up 10 cents. Uh, fractional, little gains here. A Matterport up three cents. 23 and Me is up 3.8 to 185, 186. Aspire's up two cents. Uh, ATIP down eight, I think, uh, in the pre-market. Uh, Smart Rent maybe up a dime, maybe. Um, what else we got here? Apple's up 73. Goldman Sachs up 13 cents. Cisco's up 26. Uh, Tesla's up 470. Arc Innovation's up 78 cents. Microsoft is up 287. Pfizer's up 14. HPQ up 23. Alphabet, which is Google, up 178. Amazon, uh, 159 gain right now. NVIDIA's up 455, lost 1550 yesterday. Unity up a, do a dollar and AI up 73 cents. So we have a, a pretty well uh, green almost everywhere. Um, and we'll find out to see just what's going on. Uh, welcome all to the party. Welcome all to the show. Thank you, those of you out there who have been uh, uh, kind enough uh, to just hit the thumbs up button the minute you come in here, you walk into your your rec room or wherever your office is, you turn on your machine, 
you watch, you, you wait for me to come on live, and you immediately hit the thumbs up button. That's the first thing you do. You don't even think about it. And I thank you, all of you, because every thumbs up, and the faster I get them, the better it is. Um, if I can get thumbs ups coming in right off the bat, YouTube promotes this channel to people who don't know we exist. It's as simple as that. And if we can get more people to follow this channel who don't know we're, that we're here, they're going to hear all about SoFi. They're going to hear all about Matterport. They're going to hear all about the Smart Rent and all of our other favorites. And they're going to join the party. And they're just going to make you richer because you are going to help bring more people into this market that you're already part of. And they're going to realize, holy crap, this SoFi, I should be buying the crap out of this stuff. I should be buying the Smart Rent and Matterport. I should be buying 23andMe. Well, I should get in on this. Well, you can help the cause. Uh, hit the thumbs up button to help this channel get exposed on YouTube. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's free for you, and it is powerful for us uh, if YouTube understands this channel is the real deal. The interaction between creator and viewer is huge. Uh, so help me help you help them help us. Uh, thank you. 106 thumbs ups. I appreciate it. 200 per show is what we beg for every day. And if you're able to hit that thumbs up button and get us going, that'd be great. There are 200 people watching right now. We have 106 thumbs ups. You know what that means? You have to know what that means. If Mr. Strickland were here right now from Back to the Future, he'd be looking at you going, you guys are slackers. Half of you guys are slackers. Not giving this guy a thumbs up. Watching him work his butt off for you. Telling you his life story from high school. And you're just sitting there not giving him a thumbs up. I mean, what kind of people are you? I mean, that's what he'd say. It's not me saying it. It's just Mr. Strickland would be telling you that. Don't be a slacker in his eyes. Hit the thumbs up button. Please help us out. Thank you all for being here. Um, great to have you here. Uh, lots of folks talking to each other this morning, as usual. Please become a member of this channel. You might notice most of the people making comments over here have their name highlighted in green type. They have a, a little uh, avatar beside them. They are members of this channel they figured out a long time ago, if I am a member of this channel, A, I can comment during market hours, and B, if I'm a Gold Bagel member, I get to join this guy every morning at 8 o'clock for a pre-alert show and every Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, primetime live with Uncle Bruce for Gold Bagel members only. It pays to be a Gold Bagel member. It pays to be a member of this channel because we try to help you find a way to make money. It's as simple as that. There's always to it. Help me help you. I thank you all so much for being here. Those of you who are simply subscribers, I thank you too. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please do hit the subscribe button and count yourself in as one of the folks here on this channel that are subscribers. I want to say thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you have a great rest of the day today. If you're if you're leaving us, uh, if you're not going to become a member, you're now just going to be watching us. Uh, it's free to watch, of course. It's always free to watch. Uh, you can just hang out with us and uh, follow us that way. But, boy, I would sure love it if you guys became members of this channel. 132 thumbs-ups. Here they come. 40 thumbs-ups in the last three minutes. Come on in, you slackers. Come on, help us out. 213 are here. 132 thumbs-ups. 80 slackers left to go. Come on, you guys. Uh, don't let Strickland catch you wandering the hallways without having hit that thumbs up button. He's going to give you a pink slip. He loves handing those out. Uh, thank you all. Uh, Samuel, thank you, buddy. Love you, too. You keep it going, guys. Uh, Mr. Parrish, uh, 831. Good morning. Uncle B, uh, JR, number 130. Good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, JR and my other self, uh, Mr. Parrish. <laughs> Mr. Larry Titus, thank you, Larry, for hitting the bells. We are open now for training. It's official. The market is open, and we're up and running. And we're going to find out what kind of a day we're going to have here today um, and how you guys are going to do. JR, oh, the bells, the bells. Dean, thank you, Larry. You're not a slacker. Larry Titus is not a slacker, not even close. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, 
double dipping uh says jr uh, says jj to jr a home skill if members only sign up you slackers uh, christina whoops i was a slacker i didn't even know it jr uh larry thank you zeta state larry thank you my friend jr tisk 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 Welcome all to the show and welcome all to the party. 144 thumbs ups coming in, 56 to go to get to 200. It's the number we strive for every morning show. Help us get there. Hit the thumbs up button and thank you all for doing it. Um, we've got another student or two coming through here. Folks are signing up for the classes. Uh, we've got uh, class number 16 coming up and... Uh, <laughs> uh fantastic anton thank you so much uh appreciate you buddy uh appreciate you uh, sending in the donation you are in the class another student has signed up to be here live to hang out with auntie jen and i next week saturday the 29th of july noon eastern time lesson number 16 will be brought out um will be presented to you and you can be part of the live class and you can ask questions while I'm doing the lesson itself. Uh, please join us. Once the class is over, we'll have it ready. We'll get it sent for uh, for editing. Uh, Emily will get it done for us. And after Emily gets the uh, class uh, edited, uh, I will get it posted on the uh, website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. And at that point in time, any of you out there who couldn't appear or join the class, We'll, get a co we'll be able to get a copy of the class. Those of you who were in the class will also receive an edited version of the class. The final edited version will also be sent to you as an addition to being here live with me. So thank you all for uh, those of you who have already registered and signed up to take the class next Saturday at noon. Uh, looking forward to uh, to doing that with you. Uh, Wave, Waverly, thank you, Waverly, for uh, becoming a member of the channel chilling with uncle bruce thank you my friend i i know someone i thought someone this morning had also signed up on my other system uh for something but i can't remember what that was but anyway thank you all if i miss your uh, your announcements uh, i apologize but thank you for being part of the class everybody this is great um christina traveling back from Minas minneapolis today so i won't be on long good luck trading everybody splair larry rock on and thank you home skill at christina hope your sofi calls are doing well Splair, yeah, Christina, are you chilling uh, with bot calls in August or later? Waverly, taking a break from lurking was hurting my back. Um, uh, home skillet, she's got January calls, we think. There you have it. We are on SoFi right now, 961 up four cents. We've got Rocket Lab at 780 down a penny. NVIDIA is up 33 cents. Matterport is up seven. The Dow's up 82. GameStop is ahead 21 cents right now. AI is up 70. Smart Rent is up seven. Um, we got ATIP down nine. Unity up a dollar. Uh, Tesla up 172 at 264 now. Apple at 194 up 116. Google up 51 cents. Moderna up 77. Cisco up 53. Pfizer's ahead 11. IBM is up 52 cents to 138.90, going for 140 now. HPQ up six cents. Microsoft up 232. Um, ME up looks like three cents to 185. Amazon up 26 cents. Spire is is down 13. Thank you all uh, very much for being here. Home Depot is up a dollar eighteen. Avanic is up one ninety one. Netflix down one forty five. Adobe's up nine fifty to five twenty six. Goldman Sachs up uh, down seventy nine cents. Boeing is up thirteen. Meadow, the old Facebook, up one thirty nine. Target up one oh nine. JP Morgan down thirty five. And now a bunch of green uh, arrows here. Costco up three sixty five. Walmart is up 12, Disney up 24, American Airlines up 4 cents, and DraftKings ahead by 56 cents so far. So mostly green this morning on this uh, start to the day. Uh, option expiry day today here on Friday. Welcome all to the party. It's nice to see you uh, here. Uh, who else is here? Home skill of thumbs up. Uh, let's see, uh, Clay, what happened to SoFi's volume this morning? There was at least three more thousand, three times volume yesterday in the morning. Christina, I actually liquidated all my positions so I could switch to Fidelity. The fees on Charles Schwab are a bit too high. And there you have it, everybody. Um, and so uh, so I've been waiting all week for my funds to transfer, says Christina, so I could get fired up here and get going. There you go. Uh, volume on SoFi, so far, looks like a 1.4 million at the moment. That's what it appears to be. See if that's accurate or not. Rocket Lab at 784 up three cents on 440,000. 
GameStop at $23, up nine cents on 102,000 shares. AI is at 4003, up a dollar three or so on 1.1 million shares. A number of viewers are sitting on $40 calls that die today on AI. So they'll be watching the AI stock very closely. $39.98 right now. Under 40, they're worthless. Over 40, they have a book value. It depends on where the stock closes at the bell tonight. The shares close at $40.25. The calls have a 25 cent value, and you'll be exercised unless you buy your calls back before the bell goes off tonight. Obviously, at $39.82 right now, they're 18 cents out of the money. They are theoretically worthless except for the amount of time left, which is shrinking every minute that goes by right now on those AI calls. Okay. Um, spicy Android. Bruce, I am number 149 in your thumbs up meter. You're going to 200 today. Um, thank you all for uh, for, for the, uh, the help and the thumbs ups. Appreciate this. 151 are now in the house going for 200 this morning. Thank you all for, uh, for being there for us. Appreciate it. All right. 69 point gain on the Dow. The S&P is up 21. NASDAQ up 107. Oil up 63 cents a, a barrel at 76.28. All right. Um, interesting uh, uh, headline. NASDAQ rebalancing is coming, and it's boosting interest in Friday's $2.4 trillion option expiration. That's how much money is out there available for you guys. Get your share of $2.4 trillion of, of option money. Become an option writer. Learn how to do it. Take my classes on my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Join me next week, Saturday, for lesson number 16. If you've done the first 15 classes, you've already got a couple of years of studies in. Join us for the next stage as we talk about advanced strategies on how to make money in this option market. 2.4 trillion reasons every month. Every month month you want to be part of this hello wake up it is the booming business and the amount of money being made by some of our viewers here is staggering they had no idea there are people here who are making some serious money right now who had no idea this even existed two years ago didn't know what an option was couldn't understand anything about it all they have ever been told by anyone in authority or someone they knew in the family that knew anything about investing, oh, options trading, oh, that's really risky. You don't want to put your money in that. You'll just get wiped out. That is the common notion of many, many people out there. It's a $2.4 trillion a month business now, and it's still growing dramatically. Why are there that many dollars in the options market? Because people are stupid? No, <laughs> no. Because institutions are idiots? No, that's not. That's also not the answer. Uh, no, they're making money here. There's a lot of gamblers out there who are desperate to find a win. They're trying to gamble with 100, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 dollars, trying to find a cash payoff on short-term options where they are taking crazy risks that you just don't recommend people do, and yet. They're putting in trillions of dollars to try to find a win. Then there are the methodical, very calculated, and very well-educated institutional traders, banks, insurance companies, mutual funds, hedge funds, pension funds, who handle most of the $2.4 trillion in, in activity, and they make a ton of money on the options market. And I'm trying to, become, to get you to become one of those. I'm trying to get you into that level of options trading and you would think it's complicated as hell it isn't but it requires some studying and you've got to want to do this you've got to want to take control of your money i i'm sorry for those of you who uh, don't think you have it in you or won't even give it a chance it's too bad but then again look there are indians and there are chiefs and uh, at your office you know who you are with what camp are you in are you an Indian or are you a chief? Uh, up to you. In the uh, in the uh, financial markets, there are those who make the big bucks and those who don't. And uh, some folks are getting mediocre returns, negative returns, and there are those who get substantial returns. And 
those who get substantial returns are the folks that book business class tickets for their holidays to Europe when they go to Europe. The rest of us get economy seats. And look, there are very, very successful people who book economy seats. It's not like, oh, you book an economy seat, you're a loser. No, there are very, very, very successful people that book economy seats to Europe, to Australia, to Asia, to wherever they're going. Yes. But then there are those who book the business class seats and they don't even think about how much more it costs because they have that much more capital available to them. And that's where I'm trying to get you guys to. And maybe, maybe I have to get you to 30000 a month every month. And maybe after two years of that kind of cash flow, you will believe it yourself. Or maybe it will have to be that you break 50000 a month in revenue coming in before you really believe it, that you and your wife can just grab a business class ticket anytime you want, wherever you want to go, and not even worry about the price. Maybe that's it. I, I don't know. There are some of you, no matter how many millions you make, you will never travel without just a bit. You'll just get a regular regular seat in the car. It's okay. It's, it's all right. Whatever works for you. But for those of you who want something more, and those of you who understand and, and you know, you, you, you said this to yourself and you believe this mantra, you only go around one time and you will never be 35 again, 45 again, 55 again, 65 again. You will never go back in time. You can only go forward. When will your day come? When will your payoff come that you will get to enjoy the life you've wanted to enjoy? Sooner or later, you're going to realize there's a limit to what you can do. But there's also a way to get to a higher level if you want it bad enough. And maybe this channel is the answer for you, writing call options, maybe, or writing cash secured goods, or writing poor man covered calls, or taking class number 16, how to make money with other people's, how to make money in the option market with other people's money. Credit spreads. We are going to talk about some exciting stuff next Saturday, and you want to be part of it without question. If you are serious about making money, you're going to be there. Uh, whether you're live or watch it later, it's okay. It's all right. We're here, and we're excited. All right. Anyway, there it is. Uh, we're up 51 on the Dow. We're, we're petering out a little bit. We're going to see if this market has much to it or not. Is it is it uh, giving up its little gain, or is this just a little step, and now we're going to shoot higher? We'll find out. We are seeing some red come through right now. NVIDIA down 233. SoFi down 3 cents. Rocket Lab down 9. GameStop is off 17. AI is still up 9 cents, but it's backed off a bit. Uh, ATIP is unchanged. Uh, Unity up 74. Tesla down 33. Apple's up a buck. Google up 82. Moderna up 52. Cisco up 40. Pfizer up 24. IBM up 20. HPQ up 1 penny. Microsoft up $1.67. Um, ME still up four and a half. Amazon up 35 cents. Uh, Spire's up about uh, three quarters of a penny. Home Depot, uh, 157 to the good. Manic is up 116. Netflix down 52. Adobe up eight and a half. Goldman down 172. So mixed at the moment. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, markets go up, markets go down. Profit taking comes in. We've had a big run on these markets. 52 week highs have been set on some of these markets. No surprise to see profit taking come in. I mean, no surprise. Uh, should get some of that. Let's see how it runs. Um, home skillet says tasty fees are the lowest I've seen. Um, let's see. Uh, B Tizzle Tesla just turned red. There you go. Uh, Splair saying that first trade is uh, is fee friendly and is offering a two hundred fifty dollar actually for a full or partial swipe. Uh, to them on stonks like Rocket Lab. The only issue is that you can only buy in $5 steps. So you can buy contracts at 5, 10, 15 cents, and so on, not in pennies. That's what it is. Uh, what else is going on? Um, uh, thank you all for, for being here and joining in. Great to have you here. We have 156 thumbs ups, 44 to go to get to 200. Fantastic. All right. Thank you all. Um, also, uh, thank you to um, uh, from uh, AJ, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Uh, we will see you in the class. Uh, looking forward to you there as well. Fantastic. Uh, uh, great to have it happening. Fantastic all. 
All righty. Um, yeah, let us know. Uh, if you want to be in the class, make your uh, make uh, make a donation, 150 US to the PayPal account. It's down below. And uh, come on in. We'll write you up and we'll add you to the gang. And away we go. It's the usual suspects that have signed up already. Uh, and uh, I look at the uh, list of the people who've been uh, in all my classes. Um, uh, I look at the, those who joined for class 15, class 14, and so on. Uh, same names. Um, very active um, in the markets. Very active here. Uh, one on, They do one-on-ones. Uh, uh, quite regularly, um, and they have the largest accounts. Uh, they now have the best success in option writing. Uh, it just adds up. I mean, it, it just, it, it, of course, it makes sense. Um, uh, if you uh, you invest in yourself to understand how options actually work, uh, the calls, the puts, the psychology of the market, what makes them do what they do, you get that into your noggin, um, you pay the price to get that in there, you're going to be able to take advantage of that information uh, to your financial bottom line. And um, I, I tell you, it's, uh, it's just so obvious. I mean, it's just, it just no question about it. Uh, it's never too late to get into this. Uh, you could take lesson number one anytime you want on my website. Uh, grab one and do a, do a class a week. They're like hour and a half to two hours each. All you got to do is just sit there and listen. You can replay it anytime you want. Um, you watch those classes and hang out with us here, and you will quickly figure out all what everything means. Uh, as, as, as simple as I try to keep everything, the classes have really helped you a lot in understanding what we're up to. And don't be dissuaded by, oh, there's 15 of them. It's going to take me forever. No, no, it's not going to take forever. Um, you do one a week, two a week. Uh, within a month or two, you're caught up with us here, and uh, you will have really picked up a lot of stuff. It might completely change your attitude and outlook on the stock market as a whole and all of your investments as a whole. It might completely alter your thinking about the world in which you live uh, because it is a... Uh, it, it, it's amazing to me how many people out there blissfully go along life thinking they know enough of what they should know and so much slips through their fingers it, it is uh, incredible but you know I, I i'm not criticizing anyone i don't want to criticize anyone i commend all of you if you are happy with your lives you're leaving you're leading a great life and you're you're uh, you're satisfied it's better than the life your mom and dad had or it's better than the life your grandparents had or you're doing so much better now than you were years ago or other people you know how uh, no complaints it's good it's it's all good but those of you out there who feel that you're leaving something on the table or you're just not maximizing the potential or you're not sure if you're getting the most out of what you have come on in here and take a peek uh grab some classes and uh, watch them, hang out here for a while, and determine for yourself whether any of this is for you or not. You may find that you love the info. You love the uh, the data gathering. You love the studying of the market, but you're just not cut out for writing options. I get, it's okay. If, if we've helped you become smarter investors, more aware investors, the kind of investors that make fewer mistakes and anything it is you are involved in, then it's actually paying off because the cost of uh, joining this channel as a as a class member, 150 a class. I mean, come on. Uh, am I asking any of you to put up 10 grand up front to learn everything there is to know about investing? No, none of that crap. Uh, you don't have to cough up $4,500 to get into this club. No, that's 150 a class. Uh, take one. Take five stop take them all up to you you want to take it further you can take it further yes you can hire me on a one-hour basis for private one-on-one -on -one consultations yes you can but that's up to you whenever if you do what you do you don't you don't you're here with the gang uh you're following in um it's up to you you decide the involvement that you're going to have in this uh, in this market and the way you want to do it it's okay. It's all 
Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Um, what's going on, Clay? I've uh, I have uh, nine dollar and ten dollar cash secured puts because I see that second message there. I mean nine. Uh, way to go, way to go, Clay. Uh, well done. Uh, Amy says here I've only been a member for eight months, uh, but it's worth every minute and every penny spent on classes. Uh, thank you, Amy, for that. Uh, Way to go, you guys. Um, is anyone selling SoFi $11, $12 cash secured puts? You could if you want to. Chris is here at number 161. Drew is here at number 159. Thank you guys for joining in here. Um, yeah, you can write, you know, you can write nine, 10, 11, $12 cash secured puts on SoFi if you want. Uh, you can go out as far as you want with it. Uh, if you want to write January 2024, for example, there's some good premiums to be had out there. Uh, more power to you. The, the lower the stock goes, 946. Hey, nines now, uh, tens, definitely um, bring in some cash here on these cash secured puts. Um, we have uh, we have all kinds of news coming up a uh, week from Monday. So, yeah, giddy up, everybody. Um, well done. All righty. Um, BW is saying here that the U.S. 10-year note is up 100 basis points this week, and the U.S. is still in an upward trend, the U.S. dollar. Don't forget that the Fed speaks next week. So today could be a setup for sell the news next week with rate hike inbound. Um, let's see what's going on. Um, fantastic, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for, for being here. Um, what else is going on here? Uh, folks just talking to each other, which is great. Uh, Chris is saying, Uncle Bruce, remember this one. I'm AG. Penny Packer, and I'm a rich industrialist wanting to open a silver mine in Peru. Kramer, that's what I feel like with your channel, laughing out loud. Uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Penny Packer, uh, AG Penny Packer. Uh, I also I also like it when he was ass man, and uh, he was with the uh, he was with the institute, uh, and he wanted the, he wanted uh, he wanted uh, the file for uh, Laura. He wanted uh, Elaine's medical file. Yes, I'm with the institute. Uh, I'm here for her file. <laughs> oh, fun stuff. Uh, Vilbus, I haven't started writing on SoFi yet, but I have been keeping an eye on what the calls are going for as it fluctuates. B. Tizzle, Uncle Bruce, what are your thoughts on the wheat market? I have uh, no actual thoughts. I know that the market has gone up because of the Russian ending the grain deal, but I don't follow uh, those commodities at all. I swear, market's red, and I eat a red watermelon. It feels great, especially because of... Um, my bot GameStop put is getting into green games. Waverly, a giddy up, a B tizzle. Apparently, Russia has upped its exports by fifty percent. You think this is a offset their off the losses in oil? Vilbus, I want to see what we get on the thirty first before I start writing on SoFi. It'll be interesting to see if uh, if um, uh, the Ukrainians uh, start bombing Russian grain ships uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, you know, Russian grain ship is muddling along. All of a sudden, uh, you know, uh, a, a cruise missile takes out a grain ship and it's gone. Uh, the Russians, Russian grain doesn't get the market. Uh, wouldn't that be something? Um, gotta wonder. They have the they have the weaponry. Uh, you gotta wonder. I don't know, man. I just I just don't know. It's uh, it's a sad, sad state of affairs. Um, and what really is disappointing about the entire Ukrainian deal is how many countries support the Russians. That is the uh, the revelation, um, and it is a uh, it is something that is um, amazing to me because of the nonsense that's going on, the indiscriminate uh, slaughter of innocent people going on in a so-called war. Yeah, this is this isn't a war. This is uh, uh, this is uh, genocide in a way uh, going on, and it is it is pathetic, absolutely. Pathetic. And those who support it uh on that side uh just uh, just it blows my mind it just it blows me away it really does i don't know anyway there you go um what else going on here um mm -mm, ai getting into the cash secured put right zone uh b tizzle i'm worried about the ukraine striking back at grain although i can't say i blame them nigeria and many other countries already in a food crisis uh Clay, I think SoFi will turn a tiny profit this quarter, but definitely profitable in the third quarter of this year. Their revenues and sales have been climbing and climbing since the SPAC days. 
uh, dude, Russia is keeping the wheat market low so they can control the market. They need steady outflow of hard assets to fund their war machine. Yeah, I mean, the Russians are, um, are they've, they've managed to get the price up, and uh, now they want to get their crop off because they had a record crop last year. Believe it or not, the Russians had a record yield of, of grain, and they produce way more than they need to eat. So they're trying to bring in dough, and there you have it. Unbelievable. Um, let's see what's going on. We're, we're flat on the Dow, maybe down down a couple of points. Um, S&P up 12, NASDAQ up 103, oil market up 58 cents in Texas right now. That's what we're seeing going on here. Uh, we have 201 people watching this show right now. Thank you, everybody, for being here. 168 of you have been able to give us a thumbs up, so some of you even too, and I appreciate that. We need 32 more to head to 200 thumbs ups. Uh, there are enough slackers right here, right now, who haven't given a thumbs up that could to put us over 200. I am appealing to you. Come on in. Hit that thumbs up button. Help out the show. Thank you all so much for uh, for being here. SoFi is down 20 cents. NVIDIA down 3 bucks. Uh, Rocket Lab down 24. GameStop down 35. AI down 77 cents at 38.20. Those $40 calls are out of the money. They are worthless. The question is, are they trading at virtually nothing? Are they down to like a quarter now? How cheap are those AI $40 calls that expire today? How cheap are they now? Interesting stuff. Just seeing a headline here that uh, I read this earlier. Russia raised their interest rates domestically by one full percentage point. Tough times over there. Uh, they don't talk about that very much. Um, we've got a $40 AI call that dies today uh, showing um, uh, as of 10 minutes ago, 117 to 123. The 39s are now 54 to 57. Uh, the uh, 38s, who are barely in the money, are 19 to 21. No, no, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong side of the coin. Hang on. I'm looking at puts. I'm so excited about cash secured puts. Um, the, uh, the, mind you, interesting how the puts are cheap, too. Uh, $40 calls that die today, 21 to 23 cents as of 10 minutes ago. 21 to 23 cents for those $40 calls. I know a guy that wrote some around 188, 189 or something not too long ago. Uh, and others, uh, the 39s are 56 cents. The 38s are $1.20. Uh, they're worth 15 cents right now. They die today. Uh, theoretically, you can write a $38 call and get a $1.20 for it. It's worth 16 cents in reality. Isn't it amazing the kind of premiums on this stuff? The 41s are 7 cents. The 42s are 2 cents. You can see how these contracts go to zero very quickly. Uh, on expiry day. Isn't that amazing? That's absolutely incredible. Anyway, there you have it, kids. Welcome to the party, pal. Uh, nice to have you here. 38.15 on AI down 81 cents, which makes the writing of cash secured puts even juicier, doesn't don't you think? Uh, anyway, there it is. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, uh, 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 Jen Doe. Anyone writing on GameStop anymore? I switch jobs and can't watch as often. Any suggestions? Clay, 180. Best case scenario for SoFi earnings, in my opinion, is two cents a share profit, but a small loss of four cents uh, a share more likely. Uh, Bagel Babe, uh, better late than ever. Uncle B, thumbs up for you. B Tizzle, maximum pain on SoFi is eight today. Nearly a quarter million call contracts in existence. I think it's at least nine. Luca, as uh, ciao all, gonna set off. For a lovely weekend in Tuscany filled with sun, wine, and food. Then off to the UK next Monday. Please say hi to Auntie Jen, and we'll see you all next week. Luca, thank you, my friend. Great to see you from Italy. Have a wonderful time. Stay cool. Stay cool. And uh, way to go, pal. Uh, keep up the good work out there. $37.95 on AI. We just broke the $38 barrier. The 38s are not in the money anymore. Either interesting Drew GameStop going lower. B Tizzle and Joy Luca. GameStop right now, as we watch this market, is sitting at twenty two forty three down forty eight cents, which means that the twenty three dollar contracts are out of the money. The twenty fours, the twenty fives, now the twenty twos are in danger. If we keep dropping, they might be out of the money as well. Rocket Lab at seven forty nine, seven fifty right now, down thirty. SoFi nine thirty four down twenty three. Nvidia down five twenty eight. Matterport down eight. The Dow now green up 17 points with another little buy wave coming in. 
Auntie Jen has arrived. Hello. How are Hello. you today? I'm good. How are you? How's, how's your Flemmy today? I'm Flemmy. You're yeah. Flemmy. Yeah, I'm Flemmy. Yeah, I think she got us. Yeah. Plus, we got smoke again. Well, we had some yeah. smoke. Home, uh, home skill at GameStop premiums are not what they used to be. Um, little Chaos is saying, I still write on GameStop. I have 25s, 2375s, 2250s, all out for Jan 24. And right now, they're all out of the money. Well done. Um, well done. Richard, good morning, Auntie Jen. Good morning, Richie. Right on, Richard. Richard Carlin is in the house. Um, nice to see you folks here. BT Bizzle, uh, B Tizzle. Good morning, Auntie Jen. Yeah, it's not easy to do this. <laughs> Uh, Good morning, Vitizzo. Uh, we got uh, Mr. Premium of the Option, Jen Doe. I do, uh, I do as I lowered my adjusted cost basis to zero. This is writing on GameStop contracts. Yes, zero. I sell covered calls and cash get puts at the same time and take the money. I take <laughs> the money. The money oh, there. man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, dude says, uh, Jen, almost all my GameStop have been written out to 2024 at this point, waiting a bit longer to buy back. I'm thinking of writing closer in for less premium and more shrinkage. J-Boy, good morning all, 179 thumbs up. ATIP headed for that all-time low. Larry Dinas, good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, um, Cindy Larry. B, I have a few GameStop left, but slowly I'm moving out. Drew, uh, good morning, Jen. Splare, good morning, Auntie Jen. Clay, yeah. the pump at the start of the yeah. week and slam down at the end is a Still the pattern for SoFi. It's like clockwork. All the premium <laughs> for this calls calls are gone. All in a space of 30 minutes. Right. John Anderson, happy Friday, Jen. There you go. Yes, happy Friday, John. Here you go. 929 on SoFi right now. Yeah, you find these stocks that uh, do seem to have a pattern. Well, you know. Yeah. But people right. people believe it. They get into it. They think this is the way it is. And then it stops. Right. And then they go, wait a minute. The pattern, something happened. Is there a new pattern? Well, yeah. There's never a pattern. It's just the way it is. Bobby Atkinson, good morning, Auntie Jen. From, good morning. Uh, is that, where is that from? That flag is a uh, red triangle with blue and white stripes. A red triangle? Is that Greece? Uh, is that, uh, where is that from? I don't know a where that is. A red from. with blue and white. Well, blue mm -hmm. and white is Greece. Mr. Premium, the option got three GameStop cash secured puts expiring worthless today. As long as GameStop stays above 20, laugh out loud. There you go. Right. Manager, I'm selling cash secured puts in 10 contracts every time SoFi drops. Every time every I'm time. writing more, I'm right. writing more, I'm writing more, you know, I'm writing more. Go back. Mm -hmm. Bobby Atkinson, that's Cuba. Uh, that flag oh, is from Cuba. Cuba. Right on, Bobby. Welcome from she Cuba. He's, he's obviously a one. Canadian. He is not an American. He's a Canadian. <laughs> Americans cannot travel to Cuba. Well, yeah. Canadians but, can travel to Cuba through... Um, can't an American show a flag? <laughs> yeah, but from Cuba? Hello yes. from Cuba? Yeah. yeah. He's Canadian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a beach boy. Hi, Auntie Jen. Good hey, afternoon, beach boy. Beach boy. Yes, good afternoon, Beach Boy, to you uh, from here. Nice to have you in the house, as always. Listening um, to the news, just more and more warnings about the heat. Oh, oh my God, the heat. Europe. Manager, how low can it go? Did someone say $8 on SoFi? <laughs> Is that possible? I'll just keep writing calls. 928 it on SoFi. Go to eight. Who knows? 928 down 29. Rocket Lab, 741 down 40. GameStop, 2244 down 47. AI down 136 to 3761. Saying down a lot. Down, today. down, down. Oh we got God. some red going right. through here. Uh, maybe the first two hours is red, and then it's a green wave. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Bobby Atkinson, uh, maple in the blood, Canadian. <laughs> maple in the blood. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's not well, charging. Uh, all For night. Every reason. Uh, it, it's this is not working. I'm going to turn this off. And uh, we're going to have to we'll review that. that out. Yeah. Something's not working properly over there. I don't crazy. Know it's crazy. It's crazy. It's wacky. It's wild. It's weird. I don't know. I tell you, I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, These man. Apple oh, man. products don't like to talk to other products. Certain products don't <laughs> talk to certain products in a certain way. What yeah. can I say? Uh, dude, the volume is just really low on GameStop, and it's so hard to get hit on the right. Such wide spreads on the chain. I'm half in GameStop, half in AIC3 AI. BW, uh, fun with flags with Dr. Sheldon Cooper and Dr. <laughs> Amy Farrah Fowler. Um, 
Bobby Atkinson, is this the rebalancing they've been talking about the last two days? Beach Boy dozed off for a bit, so I missed that bump on AI to write cover calls again. Oh, oh. well. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So it happens. You doze off. You look out the window. These naps are expensive, Beach Boy. You know, These naps are expensive. You have a nap with your grandchild. And what can I say, <laughs> right? Oil is slipping a little. It's only up 46 cents. Now 44. It's coming back a bit. Um, the, the Dow now up 27. S&P up 4. NASDAQ up 4. But they're slipping too. We were higher than that this morning. That's right. We'll see. Down in the morning, we'll up see. in the afternoon. Yeah. There, um, there's your Friday pattern. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and it's a week until a week Monday until we hear from SoFi. So we have a long time to go. Yes. We have a couple more folks who've signed up for classes. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we're uh, they're uh, they're coming in here one after the other. Uh, so we're uh, we're we're keeping an eye on the class counts as they are going along. Uh, the usual suspects are signing up uh, as you. as we figured they would. Absolutely. Um, Let's see here. Marcus, uh, someone established a new SoFi um, uh, 6 2024 five put position yesterday. $10,005 put new contracts, 1 million shares. Speculation on Discord was it was manager trying to push SoFi down. That's, <laughs> That's what it was. That's there what it was. There you go. Uh, Beach Boy there. is laughing out loud. Home skillet, dude, make a little room. We're in the same boat. <laughs> Jake, we're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat here. Come on, man. Yeah. 934 on SoFi, AI 3770. The low on the session for AI is now 3741. That is the day's low. SoFi's low, the session 926. We're at 934 on SoFi now, down only 23 cents. Rocket Lab's low of the day, 736. We're at 746, bouncing up. Uh, GameStop is now 2254. The low of the day, 2242. Uh, we're on 500,000 volume on GameStop. We seem to be bouncing a bit on some of these at the moment. Um, Unity is up 19, actually. It got down to 4447. It's now 4463. It's still green on Unity yeah, software. I guess Tesla was down to 258.88, now 260. Uh, Anyone who wrote those three hundred and ten dollar call options <laughs> got to be smiling with these contracts right now. Uh, might be, uh, it might be worth someone's while to think about buying them back and writing three hundreds and bringing in more money. I, I don't know. Who can say? Who can say? Maybe two nineties and bringing in <laughs> more money or writing three hundreds for a closer in date and bringing in more money uh there might be some opportunities there on tesla if someone is listening to me apple is up 64 cents google's up 94 a uh, moderna down 293 interesting moderna down to 290 121 now cisco's up 44 pfizer's up 19 ibm is up 15 cents hpq down five microsoft up 88 uh me still up about a penny amazon down 88 we've got uh, home depot up 260 vanic up 63 netflix down eight bucks 429 and Netflix has had what we call a a bad week. Uh it was <laughs> sitting at uh 481 a couple of days ago, now 429. Uh a slight $52 drop on Netflix. Hello. Uh, Adobe up 770, Goldman down a dollar or so, Boeing up 18 cents. Meta platforms as uh, Facebook down $1, Target down 57 cents, JP Morgan down a buck. Costco up 370. Walmart up 61, Disney up two cents, American Airlines up thir down 32, and DraftKings up 16 cents. That is what's going on right there. Uh, That's all there is. Uh, Tony Bennett died this morning. Yes, 96 years of age. Yes. Yeah, he's he was suffering from Alzheimer's, but only for the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, he really had a great productive career. Phenomenal. Yeah. And what a life. Uh, uh, yeah, one of I, the greatest records. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Just had a super big resurgence in the, uh, the from 95 to 2010. In that window, he really, yeah. he made a ton of money. Then, he did too. duets with uh, Katie Lang, uh, he loved Lady, Gaga. Voice. Lady Gaga. A lot of work with Lady Gaga. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that, that was, it was cool. It was great. Yeah. Uh, wonderful to see. Duets. 
And then he had ones where, like, every song was a different part of it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he did a lot of work. Done okay. Did quite all right. Made a lot of people very happy. Um, Just fantastic. Uh, What's going on here? Um, Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, Splitter, I wait now for my next paycheck and buy two Poor Man Cover Call classes and my first Poor Man Covered Call. Beach Boy, uh, uh, manager, he doesn't do small trades. Dude, you got it. Uh, Home Depot, nice manager. No, man, I'm not the one who did that. Uh, Beach Boy, should I change from Beach Boy to someone? <laughs> Maybe someone should think about that trade. Should I be changing my name, Uncle Bruce? Manager, but I welcome SoFi going lower before earnings because I can sell more cash secured puts. Bobby, Ocean Time, have a good day, everybody. Right on, Bobby. Ocean Enjoy. Time. Ocean what Time. What is that? Yeah, babies. Ocean Time. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy, enjoy. Yes, Auntie Jen, another Friday is upon us. And uh, next week, Saturday, we're working together on another class week. 16. God. <laughs> Yeah. Last week was Stampede Friday, Saturday, and now it's gone. Stampede's over. All the Stampede decorations are quickly disappearing. Yes, there. rodeos are moving out of town. They're gone. They're gone. Well, they're just out of town. High River and where uh, else? Which one, I think? Where is it? It's out there. Yeah, right. It's like Sylvan Lake or somewhere. They're heading out. They're yeah. continuing on their the circuits. The PBR is always moving. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. pro rodeo they circuit. they got to get their points. Seats. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. good. It's good. It's fun. Yes, it's fun times. We could go time. out of town and sit right up at the fence to watch the bulls. Um, no. Come on. Come on. Hey, Let no. him look you in the eye. No. <laughs> Snort, throw a little dirt on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. <laughs> we could go to, Pomp- was that, Pomplo, Spain and run with the bulls? No. We could do that. No. Billy Crystal did it in the movie, didn't he? No. <laughs> That was fake. Uh, <laughs> fake, fake, yeah. fake. No, no. I uh, I don't mind sitting on a nice bleacher behind a strong fence with with ropers and clowns to help keep the bulls where they're supposed to be. Did you hear that there's a, uh, that in Berlin, there's a lioness on the loose? Really? <laughs> she got out of the zoo? Good for her. They've been looking for her. <laughs> There are a lot of people looking for her well, right now. You can imagine. You know, probably tracks you can follow. <laughs> there's Concord? a half a cat. Yeah, there's, there's a, a half. There's yeah. a tail of a squirrel. There's certain <laughs> signs that you might be able to follow. Uh, carcass here, a carcass there, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. A little, a little lion patty. <laughs> How would you like to get that phone call at uh, four in the morning? Hey, hey, listen. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need you to uh, we need to go out and catch a lioness that is uh, on the loose. Oh, P.S. It's hungry. Uh, oh, uh, yes. She's hungry. She's hungry. Um, She's wow. Home skillet, Uncle Bruce. I'm building a position for AI. September twenty three, thirty five dollar strike. What do you think? September twenty. I'm building a position. Yeah. So he's. he's uh, what do you, what, what is the position? Are you are you writing cash secured puts up there? What what are you doing yet? I could use some info. Beach Boy, Tesla 310s are up 51%, someone told me. Um, that's not bad. Someone? Uh, that's, called, that someone again? that's called making easy money. Um, yeah. Might be an Don't opportunity. 50% is good. Might be an opportunity to roll those a little closer in time at a little lower strike price for more money. Might be some opportunities there. Uh, she's in a Ber- Berg- Berghain, says Waverly. The lioness manager. A lioness would be the best crowd control. Um, yeah. It's a home skillet. She Sorry. She those bulls under control. There, uh, <laughs> home skillet, a uh, cash secured puts. I, I see you. You're writing $35. You're writing $35 cash secured puts for September, for September expired. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. AI September 35s. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, AI at 3810. Yeah. There's some nice premiums there, aren't there? Yeah. There sure are. Uh, yes. Um, Splitter, it seems that the lion is from a crime clan here in germany no <laughs> marcus uh ai 915 uh 35 like, puts five dollars uh not that tiger king it's lion king it's lion king <laughs> Wait, lion king lion king where have we heard that before uh, five dollars for cash secured puts on 35 <laughs> septembers yeah not uh, not bad uh, coin bringing that in 
you write 35 January, so you could probably get eight or nine dollars for them too. Uh, the, the the numbers get staggeringly huge on these puts. Uh, Drew, I usually wait to buy back at 80%. Jen, am I being too greedy? 50% good enough? Yes. Yes, you're being too greedy. <laughs> Um, and you might be in a position where you can roll over now with a 50% profit into a new position for that full hit That's and bring in that extra long. cash now. Yeah, absolutely. Always keep your eye on the chain. That's right. That yeah. is correct. Um, SoFi now 941. It's only down 16 cents. It's low of the day was 926. Uh, yeah. We have had a 15% recovery. We're uh, we're back so half no the manager, loss. It's not going to eight. Half the <laughs> loss, not going to eight. Uh, eight and a half million volume. It's not going to eight on that volume. Not enough selling to come in here. It's going higher. Uh, Rocket Lab seven fifty seven down twenty four cents. It bottomed out at seven thirty six. It's almost twenty was twenty one cents off the low. It's coming on. It's GameStop twenty two forty eight. Uh, got down to twenty two forty two. So it's still at the low end of the range. It's tea time. Anyway. Are you done, Auntie Jen? You're off. There it is, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Jen. Hit the thumbs up if you like Auntie Jen's appearance on my show. We have 185, thumb. 185 thumb. thumbs ups in the house. We only need 15 more thumbs ups to hit the 200. Auntie Jen will show you what a thumbs up looks like. That's what, That's see, what it looks like right there. Hit one of those. Show me your thumb. See, look at that. There you go. And I'm the Neanderthal. You're right. the Neanderthal. Oh, geez. Everybody have a good weekend. Right on. Stay right cool. on. There it is. Get the water. Giddy up. Thumbs from Richard. Thumbs, thumbs, thumbs. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. 78-point gain on the Dow. We're climbing again. Here we go. We're coming up again. Are we going to go higher now? 13-point uh, gain on S&P. 43-point gain on NASDAQ. Hey. Uh, home skill thumbs up for Auntie Jen. Uh, we're uh, we're down only six cents on Matterport. Nvidia down just three bucks. It was uh, down to four forty eight. It's now four fifty two. We've come back four bucks. Pretty well four dollars on Nvidia in the last ten minutes. Hey, there's a buy wave here. SoFi nine forty two. Did anyone write cash secured puts when it hit nine twenty six? Hello. Hello, looking good on SoFi here. Uh, getting interesting. What if it went to 10 today? What if it went right up to 10? Um, Rocket Lab 764 down just 17 cents. GameStop down 39 now. AI only down 87. Um, we've got uh, ATIP down 18. We got Unity up 51. Tesla down 158 at 261. Bottomed out at 258. It's turning around. Apple up 54, Google up 58, uh, uh, Cisco up 57, Pfizer up 24, IBM up 52, HBQ up 4, Microsoft up $1.30, Amazon only down 93 cents, um, Home Depot up 260, Vanek up 130, Netflix is down 360, it hit 427, it's 433, it's come up seven eight dollars here. In 10 minutes, there's buying coming into this market, get out of the way. Uh, cash secure puts might be paying off already. Uh, way to go, kids. Uh, watching these markets come on. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't this fun? Yes, it is. Uh, 188 thumbs ups. 12 away from 200 today. Thank you all for coming through for us. It's appreciated big time. 187 of you are here. Welcome to Friday's show, everybody. I'm glad to see you here with us. Uh, Watching this market gyrate, uh, started up, went down. Now it's coming on again. We're up 80 points on the Dow right here, a uh, quarter of a point and climbing. It looks to be getting stronger. Hmm, that's uh, unique. I like that. Uh, there you have it, everybody. Is anyone having fun out there? Uh, fantastic stuff. Uh, right on, everyone. Welcome to the party and welcome to the show. All righty. Nice to see you all here um, following a lot of activity. As per usual, uh, we got the Rocket Lab now only down 15. To SoFi's down 16, 17. GameStop at 22.54, down 38. Uh, Matterport down a nickel. Uh, 23 me is still ahead, two and a half cents. Um, what else is going on here? Apple up 44. Goldman up $1. six. Cisco up 57. Tesla down 240. Uh, Arc Innovations up six, uh, Microsoft up 124, Pfizer up 23, HBQ plus seven cents, Alphabet up 49, Amazon down 80, Nvidia down 360, 
Unity up 50 cents, and AI is at $38 on the nose, uh, down 97 cents. Those $40 calls are out of the money on AI. That is the story, and we are sticking to it now at the moment. AI, $40 calls that expire today are out of the money. Uh, 39s are out of the money. The 38s are at the money here, roughly. Um, just to give you an idea of the volumes here, uh, the $40 calls that expire today, there are 25,138 of those. Uh, that represents 2.5 million shares. Uh, but there's only 1,800, 3,950s, 2,739s, 1,638.5s, and 1,338s. Interestingly there, uh, for next week, Friday, um, on the 40s, there's only 3,400 of them. They're trading at 108 to 113 for next Friday. This Friday's 40s are now trading, as of 10 minutes ago, 4 to 6 cents is what I think they're doing, 4 to 6 cents. They have completely collapsed out as to be expected. Uh, if you're going to write contracts uh, for August on AI, um, August the 4th, the 40s are going for 175 to 187. There's 700 of those in existence. August the 11th, they're at 230, 240. There's uh, 568 of those. If you're going up to the third Friday of August, uh, that means you have 15,600 in existence approximately, the $40 calls, and they're going for 280 to 293 right now. For forty dollar calls, the thirty seven fifties that are just in the money are three seventy to three eighty at the moment. There you go. There's an idea of some of these contracts, how they are uh, filtering away to zero. The uh, like I say, these forty dollar contracts are really decimated and are worth pennies, which could make it worth your while to consider writing next week forties already. Interesting how this is going. Thank you all. Welcome to the party, pals. 90-point gain on the Dow, 13.5 on S&P, 35 gain on NASDAQ at the moment. Um, the 10-year interest rate right now, 3.83% in America. The uh, currencies, the uh, euro, has slipped to 111.1, and the British pound down to 128.4. They've all they've each lost two to three pennies in the last few days so Far European markets coming into the close, holding gains except for Germany down 54 points, a third of a point. Uh, the FTSE in the London up 14 points. France were up 35 at the moment. All right, there we have it. That is the story right now. Um, what can I tell you? There's the deal. Uh, welcome all, uh, one and all, to the party. 189 thumbs ups. Thank you. 11 away from 200. Thank you very much. And uh, Nazareth, I am 188. Uh, Rolo 88 says, uh, shout out to Uncle Bruce. I went back to some of the sessions in May and early June. I appreciate your consistent coaching. I'm, uh, I'm, st I've stayed away from cover calls. Uh, I've stayed away from cover calls and that has paid off. Interesting. JR, uh, more Tesla here. I come. We says JR, a uh, Cindy, would you still suggest cash secured puts on AI? Oh, yeah, definitely. Home Skillet, a JR is a high roller laugh out loud one day for me, says Home Skillet. Yes, indeed. Uh, AI cash secured puts. Uh, you can look at writing 35s, 33s, 32s, 30s. Go out to January 24 is up where I would send you. Bring in cash, lots of cash. Absolutely. Uh, if you can write 30s or 32s or 35s, you can get some nice premiums that will bring your, you know, exercise price down so low, you'll be in the 20s. Uh, giddy on up right there. A dude says, I'm a low roller. Uh, there you go. <laughs> right. Giddy up, uh, everybody. Uh, welcome to the party all. I um, hope you're doing okay. Uh, there's opportunities here. Uh, we have a lot to follow. We will see fluctuations in these prices when stocks back off. You write cash secured puts. Stocks come back up. You buy back your cash secured puts for less money. You write covered calls. Uh, stocks back up. You buy back your covered calls. I mean, it's a nice system. Uh, you're always there to appease the market. You're there to help them out. Um, they want to play uh, down here. Let them play down here. They want to play up here. Let them play up here. 
be there, get, set your strike, set your slot machines for stun and bring in some dough. Uh, well, well done, everybody. Congratulations, all of you who are here, and I appreciate it. Um, as in, I buy back low. I'm a low roller right on there, dude. Well done, my friend. And 190 thumbs ups, 10 away from 200 now. Thank you, you awesome people, for helping out today with a fantastic uh, thumbs up performance today. We are getting a real nice shot of thumbs ups coming in here. Thank you for those of you who are subscribing to this channel. I appreciate it. Uh, hit the subscribe button for us and become a follower of this channel, please. Thank you, each and every one of you, for doing that. Um, I got a comment here from Maria. I sold a couple of cash secured puts uh, on AI for 40 uh, for December. I got 11.31 each. This is huge. This is beautiful. Uh, you're prepared to pay $28.70 for the stock if they were to exercise you. Uh, do you mind? Uh, heck, if they were to exercise you right now, you'd be laughing. You'd, you'd have to buy the stock at 28 something net net. You'd, you'd sell the shares and write 40s all over again. I mean, come on. Yeah, let's go. Wing Commander, Uncle Bruce, would you rather write AI 3750 cash secured puts for 1050 or 35s for 880 or 3250s for 735 or 30s for six? Oh, well, what which ones are you talking about? Are you talking about are you talking about January's? Are, are those the ones you're quoting me right now? Um I, I, I'm not sure which ones you're you're dealing with here. Uh, 3750s at 1050 means you're paying $27 for the stock if you were asked to buy them. The 35s would run you uh, what is it 2620 if I got my math right. Uh, the 3250s would cost you 2515. Is that right? And the 30s would run you $29. Uh, am I getting? Am I right on that? Uh, um uh wing command january 24 those are jan 24 okay so um i like bringing in uh, 1050 and i sure like bringing in 880 i like both of those um like i say uh you know writing 30s uh or writing 3750s and bringing in that kind of cash oh that's wonderful i mean the stock just pops to 42 dollars uh those 3750s are out of the money 450 i mean <laughs> dump uh, obviously, the 35s will be even more out of the money. The 30s, uh, the, you know, 3250s or more. I like bringing in cash, baby. Bring in money. Uh, boy, is it great. Uh, if you can write, you know, if you can afford to write 3750s, you put up 3750 bucks and get 1050 back, pretty good. If it's a liquid market, otherwise the 35s are probably very liquid, and I, I like that a lot. All right. Great trade, says Home Skillet to Maria. Uh, sold a couple of AI 40s for December. I got 11.31 each. That is a great trade, says Home Skillet. Wing Commander of Gen 24s. Maria, thank you. Home Skillet. Home Skillet. Now, Father Time will do your work for you. Exactly. Father Time will destroy those pre premiums. Absolutely. Get, giddy up, everybody. You gotta take these. Uh, you gotta take these premiums. Uh, these option premiums are stupidly good. Stupid good. Stupid good. You're a seller. You're a genius. You're a buyer. You're nuts. Um, yeah, baby. Take the money from the crazies. Take the money. I love it. Nvidia down 750 again. 447. It's had a good week, but it's given up some ground. SoFi 930. Rocket Lab 758. Uh, GameStop 2241 and AI 3748. The dips are good, They're always good. You buy back contracts for cheap money, write new contracts, and write cash secured puts. Giddy, giddy up, but go out in time. December's, January's, perfect. Perfect. I love it. Let Father Time be your friend. Absolutely. Uh, let Father Time make you richer. Just handing it to you on a silver, silver plate. Just give them to you. Take it. Take the money. I like it. Thirty-seven fifty-five right now on AI. Giddy up, kids. Giddy up, each and every one of you. The low of the day, thirty-seven forty-one. We're thirty-seven fifty-two. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Mm. Ah. 
<clears throat> yeah, fantastic. Intel and Merck shares are helping the Dow move up today. Earlier in the day, we're still up 32 right now, 35. As we fluctuate on our option expiry day today, this is normal. We should be getting this kind of volatility with this kind of uh, market we've got going on right now. There should be some volatility here. Thank you. The 193 thumbs ups are in. Seven to go, everybody. It's time for the Knights of Knee to uh, say their piece. Knee, knee, knee. Congratulations, all you cash secured put option writers. Knee, 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 knee. The Knights of Knee will take care of it making it work for you. Thank you all for being part of this show and being part of the knee attack. Here comes Cindy B. I'm number 193, D.A. True. Richard Carlin. Here they come. The knee emojis, the dollar signs. Oh, the good times are happening now. B. Tizzle. Mornings go by so fast around here. Uh, Splair, at least it's third Friday again. Maria Powell, knee, 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 Hector, knee, 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 Splair, knee, 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 knee. Everyone is yelling knee at the top of their lungs, in their houses, in their uh, driveways, in their rec rooms. Maria Powell, sunshine, the big E, knee, 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 with a zit at the end. You got to love that. Splair, knee, 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 dollar signs. Oh, yeah, baby, we're having fun here. Always a good time in this market. Oh, my gosh. Guys, it's been two hours. I've been on the air two hours two hours i'm tired oh my gosh 196 thumbs ups we need four more where are you where are four more thumbs ups drew nee, 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 nee. hit that thumbs up button for us people get us to 200 this morning thank you all so much don't let strickland catch you don't be a slacker thanks uncle bruce great show says home skillet dude okay i'm in just wrote a cash secure put on ai august $35 strike, uh, $259. It expires in 28 days. Shrinkage incoming. Looks like uh, looks like a dime a day. A dime a day. Beach Boy, uh, B bought back 25 Tesla. December 3 tenths for 1721. And I wrote October 20, 270s for 2229. Oh well. Nee, 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 nee. That's a nice little $500 swack per contract, uh, $12,500. Thank you very much. Nicely done, Beach Boy. Option Nomads, neat, 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 neat. There you go. Uh, Richard Colonel, late Uncle Bruce, and, and I'll have a happy day. 197 thumbs ups. Thank you, guys. Uh, Splitter, just in case. Have a great and relaxing weekend, everybody. Next week, we're five trading days away from SoFi Earnings. Announcing Monday the 31st. Oh, boy. Nee, 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 nee. Here we go, kids. Nee, 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 nee. Yes, indeed. Good times around the corner. Well done, option writers. Well done, cash secured put writers. Well done, SoFi. And also, uh, well done, Tesla option writers. Nice job, Beach Boy. Well done. I love the way you locked in those dollars and then took in more dollars. I like it. Manager, okay, I'm going to take the take a rest. And I have sold 200 January 24, $10 for 208 till the next leg down. Well done, my friend. 200 cash secured puts written on SoFi. Giddy up, baby. He's going to make a ton of money. This guy's going to make a ton of money. It's unbelievable. Love it. Uh, this is good stuff, everybody. Thank you so very much. Dude, Bruce, here's a $5 donation. Let's go, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you, dude, for that. I appreciate it, my friend. We love you guys. Uh, keep it going. 198 thumbs ups. You got to love it. We're only two away from 200 thumbs ups. Who is going to be the viewer that puts me over the top today? Who is it? Who, which one of you is going to do it? Deep value options. Nee, 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 nee. Here they go. They're coming on. Who's going to hit that thumbs up button? Get us to 200. 199 in the house. One more to go. Which one of you guys is the ultimate non-slacker? Who is it? Octavio is here. Splair's here. Nee, 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 nee. Thank you guys. Marcus. Nee, 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 nee. Someone took a thumbs up away. 198. Now we're playing games. Here we go. The fun times continue. Nee, 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 nee. 199 again. Here we go. Oh, we're all over it. We're all over it. Oh my goodness gracious. What is going to happen here? Too much fun. Thank you, kids, uh, so much for the uh, good times. <laughs> Who let the dog out? 
Ooh, ooh, let the bee tizzle. Neat, 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 neat. 200 thumbs ups. Looks like we got it. Kevin D. Neat, neat, neat. Larry Titus, 200 thumbs up. We need fireworks, Bruce. We need fireworks right now. Give us some fireworks. We've hit 200 thumbs ups. Giddy up, everybody. Woohoo! Woo It's, that's so good. We need a little kitty cat. We need a Oh, yeah, baby. We've got it going on. Thank you all so much for being here today. And being here all this week. I appreciate it. Uh, Jen and I were, I think we're going to go out later today. We're going to head out to, on the town and uh, get all dressed up and head maybe somewhere to get some groceries or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I got to figure out what outfit she's going to wear today. I don't know which one. We'll, we'll check out her closet, see which one she should pick off here. I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Uh, maybe I can wear one of my outfits, the kind of clothing you guys are starting to wear out there, you option writers, you getting so much money in your accounts it's unbelievable well done everybody uh thanks everybody have a great weekend nico i had my wife get you the number 200 thumbs up thank you ohm skillet much love for the kittens uh, nico thanks <laughs> john uh, neat, neat 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 uh have a great weekend guys thank you so much enjoy get rich get richer get filthy rich get filthy richer i love it oh man um uh, Thank you guys so very much. Uh, neat, 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 spare. Have a great weekend, all. We'll see you first thing Monday in case anything crazy happens in the meantime. Don't forget, next Saturday, class number 16. Join, register now and let me get you figured out. All right, guys, thank you. Zed, you take care. Splair, Walters, it's a good question. Take care, everybody. Uh, thank you all for being here today and have a great weekend. See you soon, everybody. Bye for now.